Relationships, how to heal hurts. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to Signpost for Living with Dr. Kirsten Hunter and we have gorgeous Kristen Coggan here. Hello darling. Hello. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> so we are talking about relationships today. Excellent. When you've got a whole of maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds notice. Yes. Yes. This is how we roll. It is. Fly by the seat of my pants. Very spontaneous. I like it because we know we can, right? Yes. So relationships, how to heal hurts. Mm-hmm. Again, I love to ask you this. What was your first reaction to that? <laughs> <laughs> there were several all at once. <laughs> One is a diamond ring heals everything. So oh, really? something sparkly. Um, okay. Or, <laughs> or Probably uh, not a psychologist's <laughs> angle. No, but I'm not the psychologist. Okay. So you see, it's true. It's, um, how to heal hurts. Uh, uh, you just got to – sometimes they happen. <laughs> and you just <laughs> – it just ha- yeah you've just I don't know it depends on your um the depth and understanding of your relationship I guess so mm. can you do the yeah there you go again and there I'll deal go. with that or that's too I don't know you lead the- this is your thing <laughs> <laughs> no no I just I just really interested in your initial reaction so you yeah. know what we have we have a lot of a lot of um, sessions happening where the emphasis is on relationships. Mm-hmm. whether or not a couple come together or individuals come and we spend the time talking about relationships. Mm-hmm. Very common. And we kind of categorise issues into two categories, broadly speaking. Mm-hmm. One is like irrits. Yep, okay. You know, like, oh my gosh, that's annoying. <laughs> the sound of you chewing is driving me nuts, <laughs> that stuff. Yes. Can you not just put that in the basket, not mm. next to the basket? Mm. Yes. Things like that. Irrits. And then the second one are hurts. Yep. And the hurts are where maybe they're recent, but usually they're historical, and it's where there's been some sort of pain and it just has sat, sat, it Mm -hmm. stayed. And then, of course, it um, might revisit the individual or it might have a ripple effect because that theme comes up, but the other party, the other partner, doesn't understand that this is a big, loaded, hot issue. Mm Mm-hmm. Or they think we've sorted it out. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Perfect. I've just had a discussion about this stuff with my husband. <laughs> Does he realise he's about to disclose? No, he has no idea. <laughs> and he doesn't know how to find podcasts. So we're, we're good. good to go. We're good. What do you mean, if you don't mind me asking? So, just for the listeners. Yeah. Because I live part-time in town and part-time out of town. Yeah. Just with education circumstances with kids and stuff. So her husband's just been in town for a couple of appointments and we just caught up and he's about to have some surgery. Mm. And he's going to have to stay at our house here in t- in town for a while. Yeah, Toowoomba, South yeah, East Toowoomba, yep. Queensland, everybody. Which yep. drives him nuts because he doesn't like town. He's a country boy. And the other thing that's going to drive him nuts is I let the cat sleep on the bed <laughs> in our townhouse and he doesn't <laughs> even think the cat should be inside the house. <laughs> We're going to have a little bit of an issue, perhaps. Yes. And he will not budge on it. Well. And it, it, it's it's more of an irrit. It really gets to me that it's it's wow. a simple thing, but I really like Bob. Bob. The cat. <laughs> Very creative. I mean, a little snuggle at name. night. And it's not going to happen because Rand, Randall will be there and he just doesn't like it. Will How not many tolerate nights it. is Bob out? Bob, well, Bob is out and Randall's in. Yeah, that's right. Sounds like you have a very this frisky is, life. This is, this is, my life is <laughs> rocking. Um, so it'll probably be a week or so. Okay, poor Bob. I know. Mm, okay, so and I'll miss him too. So that's an irrit. People are going to be going, this woman is off her tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. They're going to say, oh, yes. Oh, yes, we relate to that one. And it's a bit of a deal thing for us because we've had this fight. It's not a fight. We don't fight. But this absolute, we dig our heels in over this stuff. Mm. Animals, pets. Clash. It is our thing. Mm. Can I tell you about some of the, so just I, like honestly, I've got no I, examples in my head, but they're going to come, um, of the deep-seated ones? No. 
Let me let me give you. I can't. Can I give you some examples? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I mean, do you have, do you, have I told you? No. Right, right, right. So one might be, for example, mm-hmm. um, you know, one part part partner might be at a family gathering, and um, he or she feels like their in laws have had a had a had an attack at them, mm-hmm. and they they don't feel like their partners defended them. Mm-hmm. So that's like a big one. That's huge. It is right. Um, that would be a common one. Um, another one would be. Oh, so you're saying my cat on the bed thing isn't the thing <laughs> is what that you were an, expecting? That would be an irrit. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> is that a deep wound? It is. It is okay. a deep wound, reoccurring wound. But anyway, yes, no, I get it. It's not on the same thing. And, yes. And when when it's a deep wound, it's because it's about trust. It's about mm. whether or not I feel like you're in my corner and you really understand me with what my deep emotional needs are. Yep. And whether or not I feel safe or I feel vulnerable in this space and I need to feel safe with you. Yes. So they're usually that kind of thing. Um, you know, another example would be... That actually could have been an example I could have given you as well. <laughs> well, you jump there. in any time, yeah. but I don't want to delve too deep. <laughs> another example might be that somebody had spent their life with an aspiration studying in a certain area um, and then their partner turns around and says you know, no, I don't think it's a good idea because of practic- practical issues X, Y, Z, which mm. could be valid. But meanwhile, it's the other partner's life dream, mm-hmm. life aspiration, and they feel unheard. And mm-hmm. they're like, well, hey, I've told you about this for years. Have you not heard me? Mm. Um, you know, so there's lots and lots of examples like that. Yep. And um, usually the couple will kind of have maybe a big fight but not actually communicate or – Someone will go to ground because they too feel too vulnerable, mm. you know, and so it doesn't get addressed. And then weeks, months, years pass, mm. and it's still sitting there. So when clients come along, I, I often feel like I'm, you know, it's like there's like these boils, and you're kind of like pressing on these boils, and then it all comes out. And uh, it's <laughs> it, it's it's lovely. It's a painful process, but it it's incredibly cathartic because you're able to people leave feeling incredibly heard connected they can release the pain it's it's very profound you know Hmm. and i guess you know we could have called this what is your relationship boil but it's not not quite what's festering what's festering (laughs) (laughs) but you know it happens and I, i would argue that it's really quite standard so so what are you saying that the what do you do you come and see well, Someone hopefully, or? well, you know, if you can maybe <coughs> listen to this podcast, no, mm. but if you if you've got these skills, you don't need to come to a psychologist. But most, a lot of people. So, what's the skill talking about it and communicating? Kind of. So the first step, <laughs> right. the first step is for people to feel like it's a space where they genuinely feel com- confident the other person wants to understand them. Mm. So you have to have a massive welcome mat to feel safe to open up. So that's the first step. And that's a skill in itself. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. It's like, I really want to know. I really want to understand. Talk to me. Talk to me. Mm. Because we've already got our walls up Mm. and we need a lot of encouragement. That's the first step. Second step is that we need to be able to express what, what happened from our perspective, not in an attacking way, in a compassionate Mm. way, you know, but just in a, this is what happened for me. And a lot of people have a really hard time being able to articulate mm. what happened, what the meaning was, the history that made it a loaded issue for them. Mm. And that's really hard. And I think that's often where psychologists are really helpful mm. because they kind of say, hang on, whoa, 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 slow it down. What did that mean? Hey, mm. Hang on, hang on. What what do you think, you know? And so you're pulling out the detail yeah. that they possibly aren't capable of doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like um, unless you untangle it all, you can't put it back. Mm. Yeah, so that's a huge skill. Um, The next one is enormous, enormous, and that is that um, historically when they've maybe tried this before and it hasn't really sorted it, the other party's listened, they've nodded, and that's it. Mm. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry about that. And that's it. Now, why do you think that's not enough to make it sort it? Because it's not sincere. You're not convinced. That person who's looking for that apology and that acknowledgement wouldn't be convinced that their issue has been really heard and there is going to be change or a difference. 
yes, 95% there. I think they don't feel confident the person understands. Mm. So the person, their partner might be genuine mm. and they might see that and the, the partner might be in pain even hearing, but unless you hear the partner paraphrase mm. and communicate their understanding, then you don't actually have evidence to know that they genuinely mm. understand what happened for you. Mm. And so paraphrasing. Mm. And paraphrasing, I think, would be like the top four skills mm. in psychology. You know, and to everybody, paraphrase means that you might say to me, um, the sky is blue and the butterflies are green. Like, mm -hmm. actually looking at the butterflies, I say, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would paraphrase and say, so you're saying that the butterflies are green and the sky is blue. Mm. So I would say the same content, not exactly, but I would really, really kind of put it in my words and shoot mm. it back to you. So paraphrasing is huge. Yep. And the last one was, what is the fix? You know, because if you... Maybe there is no fix. Maybe it's just understanding the past. But often it's a problem that's repeating. And if you have a fix, then you feel quite empowered mm -hmm. and you feel safe that the problem's not going to keep being imposed on you. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I have one person whose father was a violent alcoholic. And when she would go to the in-law's place for family dinner... Mm -hmm. And when they, the drinking would start happening, even though they were all a, a merry bunch, she would start to feel triggered mm -hmm. because she swore she'd never be around excessively drunk people. This is a family that are not abusive. Mm -hmm. And so this is a trigger for her. So they work out a plan where she's going to stay until a certain hour when she deems it to be jolly drinking versus mm -hmm. drunk drinking and a way for her to leave without anyone understanding what she's doing because she doesn't want to feel, you know, ostracised. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a fix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas all these years she's been staying and being triggered all through the night. Does that, does that yes. make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. So she feels safe. Exactly. Exactly. And acknowledged. And, they're, they're and a there's team. a solution. Yeah. Mm. As a team, they're saying, okay, this is an issue. Mm. Let's make a plan. Let's work it through. Mm. And that's really exciting because what's more connecting than everyone rowing together, you mm. know? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Okay, so Bob isn't such a big, deep <laughs> problem. Bob thinks he is. Well, it is when he's looking at me with his little sad eyes and... I just had someone almost die last week from a cat, so seriously. Sep septus? Seps septus? I don't know. Infection of the oh, bite from um, a bite? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, the cat had an ulcer. They, ulcer they, they fixed it and then the cat was licking it and then they were fixing it, whatever, and the cat bit the owner and then the owner almost died. So I'm not feeling that compassionate with cats right now. <laughs> and you're a cat owner. I am. I'm not a cat lover but i'm a cat okay. you have to love cats to have that those cats that you have they are <laughs> ugly i have two sphinx cats everybody and they're <laughs> naked and they're ugly the black one's kind of elegant you mm. know you know yeah. in the eye of the beholder <laughs> anyway anyway yeah poor bob poor bob but you know here's my here's my question and, and yes. i want to wrap up on this one we've just talked about a a relationship hurt where it's one way. Mm -hmm. What about if it goes two way? Example. Well, oh gosh. Sorry, throw you on the spot there. No, 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 no. This is my brain. I literally thought of five examples then mm -hmm. and I just like pick one. Okay. Oh, let's talk about sex. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It's common. So, um, a sexual situation where um, the man is feeling like he's not being. Uh, she, he's he's being refused by her, so he's feeling his confidence is really down, mm. and he's not wanting to initiate. He's feeling quite insecure, and she is feeling that he is not mindful of her work stress or her medical needs, or the timing just isn't quite right. Mm -hmm. And he should be aware of the obvious things. And it's not mm -hmm. that she doesn't want sex; it's that she can't have sex mm -hmm. because of these issues, and they're both kind of poles apart. And so. You know, she's feeling unsupported. He's mm -hmm. feeling rejected and insecure. So that's a classic one. Mm. And my point is that we do all of these stages 
with all with both parties mm-hmm. at the same time. Right. Yeah. And I guess I wanted to make the point that it gets complicated. Mm. And unless it's thoroughly done for both parties, it's not fixed and they repeat. And that would be hard for both parties to be like that's a big deep conversation to have two people on their own and to come to understanding. An understanding. Mm. Yeah, that's the challenge of relationships. Mm. You know, because you're not always going to intuitively be on the same page or have understanding mm. or and definitely not have the same needs at all. Yeah. So I think relationships are all about communication and and an incredible desire to understand your partner mm. and not have any desire to win. Ego's out. Ego is, you know, <laughs> I would love a... Um, a mat at the front of my door that says, you know, ego is not allowed. Yeah, leave your ego here. At the door, yeah. Anyway, mm. not that our house is That's another ego. podcast. But but. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just <coughs> want to make the point that it's more complex than my initial example because it goes two ways. Yeah, Far more complex than Bob. Yes, yes. We might leave Bob. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you, darling. I just wanted to flesh that out. I think it's really great for people to to learn about themselves and learn about their skill set and um yeah i think it's a great topic for sure i think so too good one to stop and think about hey yes that was a bit heavy it was the next one's light okay (laughs) thank you everybody so if you want to catch me online uh we've got the website kirstenhunterauthor.com facebook and instagram kirstenhunterauthor and twitter kirstenhunterau did you know i'm now on tiktok too you did tell me that last time which just it's hilarious. you up. Kirsten Hunter, author, do not get too excited. Do you have followers? 2,000. What? Yeah, in, in, <laughs> in four and a half weeks. I'm not kidding. Do you know who's following you? I don't know what TikTok is. <laughs> See you, darling. Bye. <laughs>